one of the biggest challenges that young people are going to face is mental health. Um, I think it covers a wide range of different little challenges. Although there is a sense of more awareness of it, it's it's still rising in proportion to the government changes in terms of how much people are funded and more people are in poverty and that does have a serious effect on mental health and I feel like that is the biggest issue. Young people should um, focus on helping mental health and building resilience at a young age um, so they're able to prepare for the challenges in later life and adolescence. One of the key things that's going to really affect them is employment opportunities and that links to their income and where they fit in society going forward so really I think it is about employment and education going into employment how, how they can actually earn money and be part of the society. There is a huge uncertainty that young people face today in terms of what is the future that is, that is there for them. Um, that creates problems in itself. It creates problems such as the social, economic, political as well as impact on their health situation. Education is not really setting them up to succeed in life given the changing nature of the world that we live in. So there's no room in our current education system to develop a holistic person and for them to develop their social and emotional capabilities and also what they're learning is probably not relevant when they come out and I think they are sold a lie that if you do really well and you get these GCSEs your future will be sorted and that is peddled to them from the age of about six. How can we get young people active and engaged in the issues that they're already campaigning around but also connect that back into democracy and politics um, and make sure that they're heard um, and uh, hopefully have some influence.